concern in the Florida Keys over this tiny pest, the Aedes aegypti, the mosquito that carries dreaded dengue fever. That would have laid thousands and thousands of eggs. A painful disease that can occasionally cause death. It's not a mosquito that's out in the swamps that we can just go out and treat a swamp. It's a kind of mosquito that lays its eggs in cryptic breeding places. The idea to cut down the population by introducing millions of male mosquitoes that have been genetically modified at this lab near Oxford, England. This is birth control for insects. We will release males, because males do not bite or spread disease. They will mate with females and those offspring will not survive. But in the Florida Keys, where mosquito control is such a big deal that candidates actually compete for the Mosquito Control Board, there is opposition. It could be that this is fine and it's a wonderful idea, but there's an awful lot of secrecy going on. Others have launched an online petition. More than 100,000 have signed so far, worried about safety and the effect on tourism. What is going to be the real price tag? Could you travel to a place that they have they experiment with genetically modified mosquitoes? The words genetically modified uh, scare people. It's a buzzword, but we believe what we're doing is definitely more environmentally friendly. Officials say using modified mosquitoes is far safer than the only alternative, chemical spraying in the nooks and crannies that the 80s Egypti mosquito likes to hide in. Officials are seeking approval from the Food and Drug Administration to begin a trial in Key West. Other genetically modified insects have been approved in the U.S., but never ones that bite people. Tony Winton, Associated Press, Miami.